professor, physician, epidemiologist. I am Dr. Sri Banerjee. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sri Banerjee, core faculty for the College of Health Sciences and Public Policy at Walden University. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about um, prioritization techniques and try to show you by uh, giving you an example of um, how some of these techniques um, can actually um, be used, um, especially looking at um, not only um, the strategy grids, um, but also the prioritization matrix. Um, so I can actually um, show you the matrix um, because that's um, th there's a sample um, matrix that has been created um, and um, some of the areas um, that require um, um, assessment is um, looking at um, media strategy and communications to raise public health awareness, um, work with a network of stakeholders to gather and share data and information, um, and continuously develop uh, current information on health issues that affect the community. So, so there are various ways um, in which you can um, prioritize. Um, and then um, also you can kind of um, use a weighting system um, to try to see, um, and, and this kind of operates um, in the um, way of a rubric. Um, so, is the media strategy linked to like the strategic um, vision here? Um, so you know, in 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 that that was one example. Um, another prioritization matrix. So so that that was an application. So let's go back and and take a look at a at a general prioritization matrix criteria, and take a look at um, a health problem that might um, that 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 might resonate. Um, so if we're thinking about um, a certain um, intervention, maybe um, that a, a public health intervention or um, any sort of intervention, um, and then um, we want to be um, thinking about um, the specific um, type of condition or um, disease. Um, for instance, um, lung workers, uh, a, a coal, coal workers, excuse me, um, uh, pneumoconiosis. Um, this is something um, of a restrictive um, lung disease, um, and it um, is something that um, um, is a part of um, an occupational hazard. Um, and so um, in order to create interventions, um, you would have to um, address um, some sort of um, policy level, uh, potentially um, some sort of consideration. Um, that can be one criteria, um, maybe creating um, sort of linkages of communication um, with the strategic vision. So um, kind, kind of understanding um, what area um, needs work. Um, is it at the macro level um, that you're going to be using the information um, to prioritize um, uh, which health problem um, is more prominent? So um, if you're looking at, for instance, in the Appalachia region, um, in this region, um, there's a lot of coal miners, and so um, pneumoconiosis um, and uh, restrictive lung diseases are much more common. And so within the community there, um, you would be looking for that, um, whereas um, within the South, um, there's a lot of these chronic diseases, diabetes, stroke, things like that. So depending on which community um, you're trying to focus on, uh, you want to be um, mindful of um, what actually is affecting the people locally. Um, and based on that, um, you want to create um, these health problems. So um, for instance, you might do geospatial consideration um, and then health problem A um, in the Appalachia region, which is um, pneumoconiosis, um, and then B can be another lung condition, asthma, um, and then you can do health problem C, pneumonia. Um, so all of these can be lung conditions, but you can prioritize these scores based on um, the rating and, and the weight. Um, and once you have this, then you can uh, uh, kind of have a criterion um, and, and met well, met or not met well, and then provide a priority um, score um, that can 
uh, provide you um, w with further insight. Thank you for listening.